Hi, I'm Dr. Helen Hayden, and I'm a research fellow and psychologist at the University of Queensland Centre for Online Health. Hello, I'm Simon Reid, a professor and director of global engagement for the School of Public Health at the University of Queensland. I became interested in international development when I was a university student finishing my veterinary studies in the late 1980s. It shaped my PhD journey, became a core part of my scientific career and led me to seek opportunities in animal health and public health in Indonesia, Vietnam and the Pacific region, forever changing the way I see research and shaping my worldview for the better. The applied nature of development work enables me to engage in a broad range of impactful research and consultancy projects, which are now an integral part of my teaching portfolio. The benefits of being involved in these programs by far outweigh any disruption to your regular work. Yes, you will need to have an increased workload during a project, but a short-term project is just that, short-term. And with the support provided by the UQ International Development Team, it enables anyone to participate as a program leader or guest presenter. This work has supported my career progression, expanded my perspective, provided me with the skills to work in a cross-cultural setting, and above all, it is the most interesting and fulfilling activity I engage in. I've done many consultancy projects over the years and seen the backstage work needed to start a project. Accessing the project management expertise that sits within the UQ International Development Team is great. They help take care of the bidding processes, the project logistics, and support the admin duties so that you can focus on delivering your expertise. Since I began working on projects managed by the UQ International Development Team, my ability to engage in development work has grown. These projects have been two of the easiest and most enjoyable projects I've implemented. The team have a great business model that reduces the workload for the proposal and implementation phases, giving me more time to meet my other obligations. I can't think of anyone who wouldn't want that level of collaboration as part of their project. Engaging with participants, sharing insights and learning about the diverse health challenges faced in Indonesia has been a very rewarding and valuable experience. At the time, I didn't realise the vast professional benefits that would arise from engaging in this work. I've maintained relationships with project participants and we are looking to co-publish on our shared learnings and research outcomes. Over the years, I have formed long lasting relationships with colleagues that have paved the way for countless mutual beneficial collaborations, resulting in new areas of research, funding sources and networks. The funding I received gave me a dedicated fund that I use for further research, as well as affording me the opportunity to attend an international conference, support publishing costs for my students' papers and to employ a research assistant to complete a One Health project in Fiji that I had wanted to do for years. There are numerous reasons I would recommend involvement in global development work. However, the unexpected and most meaningful benefits to me include forging connections with new collaborators, gaining insights into the way in which my international counterparts work, building a network with government departments and working closely with a central UQ department, such as international development. It'll change your world view and challenge you to connect with people outside of your usual networks. It gives you a unique professional experience that makes you a better academic, regardless of your role. And it is a strategic aim of UQ, which means that development activities are a valid part of your career progression and professional development. Every academic at UQ has something to offer the communities in our region. If you don't know where to start, my advice is to speak to those already doing it. Seek out a mentor in your school, ask questions and show curiosity about the work. I look forward to continuing this work with health professionals, government officials and consumers in Indonesia and other countries as part of my ongoing personal and professional development at UQ and I would encourage anyone interested in doing the same to connect with the UQ International Development Team. It takes time to develop your international development journey, but by registering your interest via the Global Development Hub, you've at least made a start.